Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss position, displacement, velocity and acceleration analysis of Scotch yoke mechanism using analytical method. In this picture shown a variation of Scotch yoke mechanism this link is crank and length is R. At the end of the crank, there is a small roller attached. This roller rolls in this roller guide. Roller guide having has a radius of R. So as the crank rotates counterclockwise direction, uh, since this small roller rolls through this uh, roller guide, so that makes this plunger to move to and fro. Let us see in the coming slides how to derive equations to find displacement velocity and acceleration. Let us draw a line from the center of the roller guide to the center of the roller here. So this forms a triangle here. This side is R, this side is R. So this side is O, O prime. So as the crank rotates by an angle theta, then this line will rotate in the clockwise by an angle alpha. So as this happens, uh, the roller guide moves from this zero position to this position. Let us call this distance is yes. This is the movement of this ro roller guide when crank rotates by an angle theta. So this is also the displacement of the plunger. When the crank rotates by an angle theta, then the roller center moves from its original position to this position. So this distance we call x that this is the uh, displacement of roller uh, center. So similarly in this diagram we can see uh, as the crank rotates by an angle theta then this roller guide moves from original position that is uh, uh, from here to here. So from here to here it is already x here and from here to here let us call that y. So the displacement of the plunger s yes, can be written as x plus y. Now from this diagram x can be written as r minus r cos theta since this angle is theta and this is small r. So that is written here x equal to r minus r cos theta. Similarly this angle is alpha uh, this angle is alpha from this diagram we can write y equal to capital R minus capital R cos alpha. So the displacement of the plunger s can be written as s, x, s equal to x plus y that is equal to r into 1 minus cos theta plus r into 1 minus cos alpha. From this diagram again this vertical distance can be written as r sin theta that is also equal to r sin alpha that is written here r sin theta equal to r sin alpha. From this sin alpha is r by r into sin theta. If sin alpha is r by r into sin theta then cos alpha can be written as square root of 1 minus r by r sin theta square. So let us substitute this cos alpha in this equation here. So we get S equal to R into 1 minus cos theta plus capital R into 1 minus square root of 1 minus R by R square into sin square theta. So this term can be simplified as uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 into R by R square into sin square theta. After further simplification, we get uh, displacement of the plunger S. Yes equal to r into 1 minus cos theta plus r square by 2r into sin square theta. So this is the equation to find displacement of the plunger. Now let us uh, differentiate this equation to find velocity of the plunger. So v equal to ds by dt that can be written as r into uh, dis, uh, differentiation of 1 with respect to time is 0. So r into 0 plus omega sin theta. So differentiation of minus cos theta will be omega into sin theta plus r square by 2r is a constant value and uh, differentiation of sin square theta can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta into omega. So after simplification we get uh, this equation velocity equation v equal to r omega into sin theta plus r by 2r sin 2 theta. So this is the equation to find velocity of the plunger. To find acceleration of the plunger let us differentiate velocity equation with respect to time. So after differentiation and simplification we get acceleration of the plunger equal to r omega square cos theta plus r by r 
cos 2 theta plus r alpha sin theta plus r by 2r sin 2 theta. Here omega is angular velocity of the crank and alpha is angular acceleration of the crank. So this is the equation to find acceleration of the plunger. After having derived all the necessary equations, now let us solve a problem using Microsoft Excel. So in this problem, we have taken crank length r equal to 50 millimeter, radius of the guide r equal to 300 millimeter, omega angular velocity of the crank is 15 radians per second, and alpha angular acceleration of the crank is 0 radians per second square. So in this column, we have written theta 0 to 360 degrees at an interval of 15 degrees. In this column, we have calculated plunger displacement in millimeters and in this column we have calculated plunger velocity in millimeters per second and in this column we have calculated acceleration of the plunger in millimeters per second square. In this graph we have plotted theta versus plunger displacement and along horizontal we have plotted uh, uh, theta 0 to 360 degrees and along vertical we have plotted plunger displacements in, in displacement in millimeter. So this is the variation of the uh, displacement with respect to theta. In this graph, we have plotted theta versus velocity of the plunger. So theta along horizontal and velocity of the plunger along vertical. So this is the variation of the velocity with respect to theta. In this graph, we have plotted theta versus acceleration of the plunger. So along horizontal, again theta 0 to 360 degrees along vertical we have plotted acceleration of the plunger. So this is the variation of acceleration of the plunger with respect to theta. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.